Hey guys, Lum here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of my GTA San Andreas Let's Play series, and this is episode 33. Now, last time we left off with the first two Torreno missions, or Darth Vader missions, I should call them. Because uh, the first time we heard from Torreno, he was using a voice changer, and he rang us up and said he had some information on Sweet. So we headed over to the third island, we're actually on the third island now, and uh, we've done the first two missions for him, and... They were, the first one wasn't, I thought it was going to be more important. We had to drive a uh, monster truck, or should I say monster truck, uh, around uh, a race sort of track off-road, which was really fun, but didn't really contribute that much to the main story. Uh, and then the second mission was the uh, sort of Fast and Furious-like mission, where we had to steal the tanker, which I, I don't realise why we did that. Uh, but who cares, it was fun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they were the first two missions for Torreno, and... Treno's still alive, that's the main thing. I had my suspicions, as I've explained, uh, when when we first apparently took out Torreno, uh, it said, oh, well done, you've killed him, you couldn't have survived that, and you're like, sarcasm, <laughs> you, you know, you, you could sense the sarcasm in Rockstar's message, so I sort of sensed that he was still alive, it was just a matter of time before we met him again, so, um, yeah, this hot rod, as you can see, I won from the advanced driving school along with my Super GT, and I'm losing the vehicles one by one, basically, because I, I took my Super GT over to the third island, lost that, sort of got in replaced for a monster truck. I don't know if my monster truck's still over there. It should be. That'd be awesome if it is, uh, but I doubt it will be. So uh, I'm taking this hot rod, which is pretty awesome, and uh, we'll take it over to another one of Torreno's missions. Now, I don't know how many there's going to be. I think that there might be a few, quite a few Torreno missions, because there's a save thing near his house, so... Uh, I take it we're going to be spending quite a lot of time here. That's my guess, but we're going to find out soon anyway. So, these Torreno missions, I, I think, will be, you know, uh, are going to end up being quite vital. Because he did say he had some information on Tweet, and he is a government agent. He's working for the government, and uh, he, I, I think he was trying to take down the Loco Syndicate organisation by himself, uh, or, or with his organisation, and we kind of ruined that for him. So we've, he's probably wanting us to do some work for him in return, and then he'll, he'll maybe help us out with Sweet and Tempin in that sort of situation. So, uh, yeah, we'll get straight on with the mission and see what happens. It's called Interdiction. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13.6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. But in 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl. I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-Wing, cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign, unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Look, over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside, okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. No. Come on, get out of here. Okay, so we're actually starting to get quite a lot of information now about uh, Sweet, where he is, and Tenpenny and Pulaski and all that. So, Torreno is sort of a mixture of bad and good. He, as you saw him there, he said, uh, he, he, we, we think he's good at the minute because he's helping us out with Sweet. He said if uh, a police officer even touches Sweet, he'll go home to find his wife and kids dead. So, uh, it's a bit vicious, but you know, it's, it's what is, is, he's trying to keep Sweet safe, but... That might seem good for us, but the, for the police fella who, you know, touches sweet, that's bad. So, Torreno has the power and authority 
he has more power and authority than Tenpenny probably does, and Pulaski, he's probably got them by the balls, you know, he's, he's that powerful, he is a government agent, but we're doing some work for him, I think, just to keep him happy, uh, he seems really quite, you know, powerful, like a powerful character, and he seems he could help us out quite a lot, so I think CJ's taking that on board, and, uh, you know, he's sort of playing, playing the game, he's trying to, you know, do what t uh, Toreno wants, because he has the power to keep Sweet safe, and that's all we want. We want Sweet to get out of prison, safe and sound. Uh, it might not turn out like that, you never know. And this is the dam I was on about in the last episode. If, I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned a dam where you, in the GTA 5 gameplay trailer, uh, the plane flies over, and as you can see, there, there's not a city on either side. So, the, as you can see, the, the GTA 5 map has been remade, but obviously it has components in it that relate to San Andreas, this San Andreas. So, that's pretty awesome. I thought I'd just mention that while we drive across it. And, uh, I'll try and explain this vision. So, basically, Treno said, uh, we're just doing some of his dirty work, basically. We're trying to, we, there's a cargo, we've got to let off a flare, uh, in this buggy. This is a pro proper awesome buggy, don't you think? This is a buggy, isn't it? A doom buggy sort of thing. So, uh, we just got to let off a flare, I think. No, this isn't a buggy, that's a buggy. This is going to be awesome, whatever. I hope we actually get to do something with them. That'll be sick. So, we got to let off a flare, and there's something... What took oh? you? Torino, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. Oh, I thought this was the zone. Okay, we're taking the buggy. We are taking the buggy. Sanchez is all rocket launcher. Rockets, pick up the rockets. I didn't see the rockets there. Why do we need rockets? Take a suitable vehicle and go to the top of the mountain. Sorry, the buggy is all... Look at this! This is what I'm on about. GTA, right, has the most varied amount of vehicles you can have in a game, I swear. Just look. And this game was made in, what, 2004, I think? And they had this amount of variety. How awesome is that? And you think, in 2013, they're releasing GTA 5 this year. What's that? Nine years later, and they're going to... Think how much variety there's going to be in this one. This is going to be absolutely awesome. So, uh, it looks like we've got to get to the top of there. It looks like we can go up here. Oh, my God. Is this a massive ramp? This is a huge ramp. I remember this. I, I used to try this quite a lot. You used to start, start here. You used to go down there. All the way out there's a huge ramp over a river. That is... I'm not going to do it now because I've probably... Uh, I've got to do this mission, obviously. And I'll probably miss it. So, this buggy... That was an awesome two-wheel thing. Oh, that was close. So, it uh, looks like we've got to let off, let off a flare, I think. Uh, to get the cargo. Let's see what happens, shall we? That's our cargo arriving now. Jesus, will you stop doing that? is annoying. Uh, protect the contraband helicopter from the spooks. Okay, why is there a parachute there and health? Okay, uh, it's it's weird. It's like Toreno set this up because he he gave us rockets for this sort of situation. Where have I got to shoot exactly? There? Did that hit it? No. And you can go down. I'm going to move out of the way before I get blown up. Uh, I'm trying to shoot him. That hit him. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, next one. Yeah, as I was saying, it's like Toreno set this up in a way, don't you think? Because he gave us rockets, and it's like he knew this was going to happen. Maybe he is one of the bad guys. We don't know. I'm just, I'm just inquiring. I'm not really sure. So, uh, it looks like we've got to take these down. I'm just having pop shots now, because they are quite far away. And it's quite hard to aim the analog on here. Uh, there we go. That should have done it. No? Okay. How about there? Or there? Or there? <laughs> How many rockets have we got? I better not shoot the uh, proper. There we go. I don't want to get in the way. What's that do? What's... There we go. He's down. I don't want to get in the way when it crashes down on me. Uh, there's money here. Were they dropping off people? This is a lot of helicopters for one cargo. What is it? What's in that helicopter? It's got to be bloody important. Have you noticed how big them birds are? They're bigger than the bloody helicopters. Look, let's try and shoot the bird down. Oh, better not. Uh, okay. Come on. That was... I shot that. Come on. There we go. Sorted. Lovely jubbly. Okay. What now?
Okay, get the contraband. Okay, so they've dropped off on that what looks like an airstrip. All right, that airstrip is, I believe. Oh, we've got two buggies. How awesome is that? Uh, a bandito, it's called. I didn't know that. So uh, we've got the cops now. Uh, looks like this cargo has been dropped off on the airstrip at the airport. The airport. I only remember this airport uh, because it's in the desert. It's an awesome. It's a massive airstrip in the desert and uh, I think you have to I think there's a flying school there I don't know if we have to do it I, I, that, this is just me trying to remember but I, I definitely remember that airstrip because it is awesome and it's so cool it is it's, it, I, yeah like, you can't explain it you have to see it for yourself it's like an old it seems like an old army airstrip but I just wanted to explain about the uh, did you see the helicopter that that cargo was dropped off from um, it I saw this is the airstrip look at it um, oh where, where's the cargo okay maybe it isn't here but this is the airstrip I was on about I'll explain quickly look at it look at how awesome this is this is just the size of this airstrip is probably I don't know it's it's huge it's it's unbelievable. It's so cool as well. And the cops are on me. I better get to this cargo. So where is it? I take it's under that bridge, maybe. So yeah. Anyway, that helicopter the cargo was dropped off from. Um, that I think them helicopter helicopters even are going to be in the uh, in GTA 5. And I think you can actually drive vehicles into the back of them. Because in the first GTA trailer or the second one, I can't remember which one. You actually see. Uh, I don't know. You don't see the character, but I think it's Trevor who jumps out of the truck he drives the truck out of the back of the plane and jumps out the truck in parachutes and it's like i really want to play that game it's so awesome okay this is the cargo okay get the package back to las brujas where are you you giving me the heebie jeebies man carl i will always be watching or listening or both Ooh, i'm scared now i don't want Toretto watching me all the time okay uh deliver the contraband to the hideout okay is there any vehicle down here that might <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! So we we fought through all of that. Oh, that was not very precise. I don't need this buggy anyway. Screw the buggy. We've got a bloody helicopter that lands on water. Uh, so uh, basically, we got to get this cargo. It seems like a little bag. So we fought all that. Is that a yacht over there? Sorry, I want to see that. I don't. Can you actually pilot that uh, boat? I'm not sure. Oh God Almighty! This thing's a bit flimsy. It's like the re remote control bloody aeroplane. It seems a bit. It's a bit flimsy. I don't, that looks like a yacht. Oh no, it's just a boat. That's quite a big boat. That's the thing with GTA 4. They didn't have that many boats. That you, big boats you could drive. The only big boat you could drive that not a lot of people knew about was the uh, big ferry sort of thing. It's sort of an Easter egg, I think. It didn't actually um, count as sort of a, a real vehicle. It's sort of an Easter egg that you can drive it. Uh, but that's for another time. I'll explain that a bit later if you want. But it's it's a, I don't know if you know about it. It's, it's just sort of an Easter egg in GTA 4, which is pretty cool. But anyway, back to this game. Um, this this cargo we've been fighting for. It doesn't. Oh bloody hell! Hot dog fan. I thought that looked, I thought it looked a bit dirty then. I was gonna say something, but I stopped myself. Um, so basically, this cargo it just seemed like a little bag, and we fought for all that for a little bag. It's a bit strange. So uh, yeah, we're doing this for Trenno, as I said. Hopefully, he'll be pleased with what we've done. Uh, where have we got to take this exactly? I'll just land here and hope for the best, shall I? This is an awesome helicopter, by the way. Oh, we got to go in there. Um, I don't think my helicopter's going to fit in that garage. That's just a hunch. Okay, what happens now, then? Okay, mission pass. One grand? Is that it? One grand. Come on, that's a bit cheap, isn't it? We'll go, in, go ahead and do another uh, Torreno mission. That is a bit, you know, one grand. Come on, I've got 144 grand. I did have 150 grand, uh, but as you know, I spent it on that car dealership, which I explained in the last episode. Uh, and now I can collect revenue up to the, on that uh, car dealership. I don't know how much revenue I can get up to. Uh, I'll have to go back there one day and see. So I don't know if we're going to be permanently on the third island from now. That is a big ass satellite. That is huge. Do you reckon I have them sort of satellites in real life? I'm not sure. They are huge. Well, that is ridiculously huge. Um, anyway, I don't know if this. We're going to be permanently on the third island now. Um, obviously, we're not greatly into it in terms of... Uh, we're not into the main city yet of the third island. We're still on the outskirts and we're doing stuff for Torreno. But as I said, I think we're going to be doing quite a lot of things for Torreno due to the fact there's a save thing here. So I think it uh, relies on us being here quite a lot. That's just a hunch. So, uh, as you can see, my monster truck is gone. My hot rod disappeared. And yeah, I, I, I've lost my two awesome cars. I, but I've, I've gained a helicopter. I've gained a helicopter which lands on water. That's all I care about. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the next uh, Torreno mission and see what he wants us to do. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it'll make them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? 
Is you gonna free my brother? No. Not now. And here's a little newsflash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris-looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now, listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now, get out of here. Come on. Beat it. Okay, so, uh, it looks like... As Toretto, oh, go to the abandoned airstrip. This is, oh, and buy it. Bloody hell, we gotta buy it. Okay, uh, this is what I was on about. Uh, funny enough, that's coincidence, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I was talking about uh, how Toretto uh, is keeping. I don't know if he's one of the good guys or the bad guys, but he's a very interesting character. He's, he's, it's, he's sort of rock star creating myths again, if you think about it. How he said, uh, uh, Hitler killed himself, and people actually believe that. It's like, it makes you think, did that really happen? If you really think about it, it's a bit of a stupid way to go for such, you know, a powerful... I'm not going to go into the history because it's not my strongest point, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, it's quite interesting. Um, and he seems to... He's a government agent. He seems to know a lot and he seems to have power. And he said to us straight off... He says it is, it is really. He just said, uh, I I used you... I said I'd get sweet out of prison just so you could go and do that mission for me. It's like, oh, God, I'm not getting blown up. Uh, I forgot this is area, I don't know what, it looks like area 51 where they get the aliens and shit, it's kind of, kind of weird. Oh, I got blown up, no, 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 I'm not getting blown up today, no, no, no. I, I don't know how to look behind, because, oh, there we go. So, um, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, he's quite an inter interesting character. Seems to have a lot of power, and as he said, he just says it as it is. He said to us, he's, he, he we thought he was going to get sweet out of prison, and he said, no, I, was just, I just said that to, so you could go and do a mission for me, it's like, Oh, okay, say as it is. Don't, no, don't worry hurting my feelings or anything, or, you know, fucking me around. Just, just say as it is. So, um, basically, he sent us over to this airstrip. I don't know why, uh, but he said to us that, because we're now working for him pretty much, we've got people after us, like Russians and things like that. We've got a phone call. I take it from him, I'm guessing. Yo, CJ, it's like, uh, Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, how is it? Yo, dude, the garage is coming along nicely, man. But I rang about something else. There's an unofficial street racing club in San Fierro. Unofficial as in illegal, right? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anywho, they meet up around the driving school someplace. Thought you might, you know, like to know. Thanks, Jethro. I'ma think about it, and I'll holler at you. Later, man. Okay, so that was Jeffro, the guy who got us into the ship with the car dealership. Uh, so, we might take up his offer again, but it might lead to more and more side missions. We don't know. But anyway, as I was saying, so, Treno sent us here. I'm not really sure why, just to buy this airstrip. Uh, it might come in useful. As I was explaining earlier in the previous mission, look at the airstrip. It's just awesome. How much is it? I'm curious. To buy this place, it's, it's kind of wrecked, but it's like really useful if you can do it up. 80 grand. 80 grand! Bloody hell, I'll be broke. Well, I'll have like, what? Oh, 50, 60 grand? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. I'll buy it just because we have to. Press L to buy it. There we go. Property bought. So we now own this airstrip. And it. I think it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. And we've got to do it for the mission anyway. Even if it wasn't for the mission, I think I'd buy it. Because, look, we, well, we're now we're on 64 grand. We might need a bit more money. But, you know, th this is pretty awesome place. You've got to admit. So, um... I think, uh, I think if we go in there, that's just a little safe house, I think. We'll check. We'll check. Abandoned AC tower. Yes, yeah, this is just a little hut to live in. So, I've got a feeling we have to go and do this advanced flying school. I always remember the advanced flying school because it's, as I said in previous episodes, what I love flying in games and GTA has no, there's no exception that it is a great flying game. So, um... You know what, I'll, I'm going to save this for the next episode, because I think, 
the the flying school it's part of the main story it's going to count as an episode it'll be fun to watch and i think it's worth waiting for another episode so uh yeah i've got my little helicopter here i'm going to go park it up somewhere uh so them sort of this was sort of a second mission not we, we just sort of bought the airstrip nothing too major but we now own the airstrip so basically i don't know again why we need this airstrip uh Trano just asked us to buy it and we went ahead and done it just to keep him happy so we i take it this this is gonna involve Trano quite a bit so uh yeah anyway uh we'll head off uh we're not gonna head off we're gonna wait till the next episode so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh keep an eye out for the next episode we, we, we will be doing the uh flying school as part of the main stories and that will be great fun believe me it'll be awesome so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day Remember, feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Also, feel free to like my Facebook page, where I'll be posting my latest videos, news and info on GTA, as well as other games. So again, thanks for watching, and have an awesome day!